Here's your new desk, kid. You're on traffic. The hot sheet is posted here next to the map. What's his problem? That's Biggs. He's an institution. So this is what all the fuss is about. Why couldn't they build a freeway that goes past my place? They haven't even approved the money yet, kid. The bond issue won't be till December. It'll be years before any of this will happen. Here's your new partner, Stefan Burkowski. I've heard all about you, Phelps. You go easy on me and let me earn the odd citation, and maybe we'll get along fine. I'm here to learn, detective. Huh? <laughs> He's an intense one, isn't he, Mel? Who's intense? The newly minted detective. Oh, here, that guy phased in from the back. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. I'll be keeping an eye on you. I could spend a little time basking in reflected glory. Make a change from busting hookers and dope fiends. Who was that, Commander? Roy Earl, chief detective and advice. Did they all dress like movie stars? Well, Roy is a movie star. And the whole of the seedy side of L.A. is his audience. <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? Stick with me, kid. You'll find out. And now some housekeeping. Warm Central Division welcome for Detective Cole Phelps. Some of you guys may know Phelps. He's the cop who broke the jewelry store murder. Stand up and take a bow, Phelps. If it's all right with you, That's sir. That's an order, Phelps. Bro. Shh, shh, quiet, everybody. <laughs> Phelps is one of only two serving LAPD officers who received the Silver Star during the war. Really gave it those lousy Japanese, eh, Phelps? Uh, I did my best, Captain. Why are you war heroes always so modest? I partnered Phelps with everybody's favorite pole, Stefan Bukowski. <laughs> Hope you like work, kid. Bukowski sure as hell doesn't. Well, that's why we have partners, right? <laughs> okay, okay, can it, guys. Stick with Bukowski. He's a good cop. He knows traffic inside now. I'm going to start you out with one case. You do okay? I'll give you a couple more. You screw up, you'll be rousting vagrants and running license plates. Now get down to the PE Freight Depot, 6th and Alameda. A patrolman called in a suspicious vehicle. Signs of foul play. See what you can find out. Come on, Phelps. You know what never changed? Suits. Never suits saw. have not changed. Because that guy right there has yeah, a nice suit. They all look nice. Suits are suits have always been nice. Yeah, like but like suits don't age. That's what I'm saying. Like everyone still likes a nice suit. Oh yeah. You're wasting time. Get out of here. Oh, am I playing? Are you not? Yes. You don't want to. Okay, I thought you were. Okay, I mean, Mike. I don't know. I mean, who was leaving the building? Mike. I mean, you're me, the traveling. Me, uh, okay. Me. That's they exit, exit over here. Quick, didn't they? So why are you pressing right? Stop pressing right. I'm not even I'm touching any. I'm pressing forward. You know this place? <gasps> look at those cars back there. Sure. No, no, we don't need that one. We need one of those. Look how nice those look! Did we drive one of those get yet? Okay, get this long boy. Okay. Get the black one. Yeah! Oh! Come on, Bukowski. Go on through. Parking lot straight ahead. Oh my gosh, she has to manually do it? That's a pain. I need to get back to work, officer. The detectives are here now. You repeat to them what you told me. I did the right thing by calling this in. I'm just a working stick. Just give them your story and you'll be all right. What? I think I remember what this was. I don't remember. Is this the... I... I... Don't let... Don't tell, let me know. I have a suspicion. Okay, okay, okay. But... Oh, I don't know. This is your first case, Phelps. It's okay to admit it if you're stumped. If you don't know what to do next, just come talk to me and... We'll see what we can figure out. Thanks, Stefan. This is not traffic, okay. by the way. This is actually just homicide. I'm Officer Hart. Phelps, traffic. What have you got? Abandoned car, probably stolen. The solid citizen is Nate Wilkie. He called it in. What gives with the corner? There's blood all over the interior. Someone's caught the full Broderick, but no stiff as yet. We have an owner for the car? The car is registered to an Adrian Black. Just north of Bunker Hill. All right, we'll take a look around. No stiff means like Mr. what? Wilkie no dead talking, body. But don't make him wait too long. I think so. He's the restless type. Because like, Mortis. Rigor Mortis. Yep. Next day for it. What are you doing? What are you doing? Use intuition. Why? You, you don't need to use around. intuition. It says use intuition to help. Sir, we don't need I'm help. Detective Phelps. We're we're old Name's enough. Nate Wilkie. You found the vehicle? Sure. Saw it just sitting there. Strange place to be parking your car. Figured I'd better take a look. And then I saw all the blood. So I called the police. So I called the 
call Mind if I ask what you were doing out here? Well, I work for the railway. I was on my way out to the switch and reckon I'd take a shortcut. He's looking dead straight on into your eyes. He's telling the truth. <laughs> he is literally leaned forward. <laughs> he leaned forward the most the serious Maybe face. hanging around the car? Nope. I hadn't seen a soul all day till you boys turned up. Okay, so now we know his truth you face. Know, That's going to help us, though. Yeah. Mr. Wilkie? No, sir. That ain't a name I'm familiar with. That's another dead straight on look, though. I think he's telling the truth. You ever seen the Yeah. Show? Funny enough, I did. A couple of nights ago, it was over there in the parking lot. I know most of the cars that park here regular, so it kind of stood out. He's an honest man. So we probably yeah, have to look at more evidence. Can I shake your hand? Let me shake your hand. Let me shake your hand. Let me shake your hand, boy. No, you know that that meme for the, the the clip. Let me shake your hand. Mm -hmm. How about you? Uh, this one. I've got a mystery sample waiting at the lab. If I can go for safety, how many? That is the world's creepiest lady. Thirty-two years old, married. Sounds like an average guy. What was he doing out here? What's with the whole adding if you're married or not to your license? Why does that matter? Don't know. Gosh, she's creepy. Happier times, I guess. He is not 167 pounds. He might be tall. He's 5'8. He might be. You don't know. You don't know how thick his legs are. He's Gordo. Stenzel. Stenzel glasses. Stenzel Washington. Paired by the look of it. Stenzel Washington. All right. Is there any more of those conies? There you go. What is this? Oh. It's got blood on it. It got that blood. It's the heat. Brand name might give us something to go on. Okay. Another one? I don't think there's anything oh, down there. You would see the cones. Oh, there it is. I mean, I mean, this could be part of the case. We don't know. Victim looks to have lost a lot of blood. There's no way this is human blood. You'd have to be smearing it. I doubt it. Yep, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Clean. Oh. Mr. F. Morgan picked up a live pig yesterday. Oh, oh. live one? Did, is this was this a pig murder? I don't think he got arrested for animal abuse back then. Doc, Detective Phelps, what have we got? A lot of blood for a blood force injury. I think it must be in a very bad way. Any sign of the guy? Not unless he's in the trunk of the car. Well, did you not Word see? Not. Really? Yeah. Word of the witness. It's not often we get eyeballs in a case like this. The wallet by the car. Was there anything in it when you arrived? You accusing me of something, mister? Wait. Ah! Uh, he, 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 he's looking away, Corey. Doubt or lie? <laughs> Tell the truth, Mr. Wilkie. You right for it's wallet. doubt. My money is my money. You it was can't doubt. Prove I touched that wallet. Corey, it was doubt. Wait. Wait. Yeah, cause why you need evidence? That's the issue. Uh, it could be the abandoned vehicle. Uh, I mean, if it's wallet. It was doubt. You. Wallet. I mean, there's no other option except for wallet. Man does the right thing. Dang it. And the police try you to could have doubted him. We didn't have. Cause... Me? Sorry. Can I do it again? How? What do you, you want to restart? I don't think there's a way to restart. At, like, unless you're going to restart the entire thing. You know what? You just did that. <laughs> no way. You're wasting everyone's We're time. We're perfecting it. We are perfecting it. We can perfect it. it, like, on our own. Fine, no more. I won't do it anymore. But it was definitely because, like, you have to realize, for lying, 
no matter what, we'll be using evidence. So we have to look at her evidence and review the statement before we can accuse of a lie. But for doubting, yeah. it doesn't take evidence, but obviously he's not telling the truth. So doubt for no evidence, and if we have evidence, it's a lie. Wait, hold on. Hold on. How far back are we? Oh my oh. gosh! <laughs> you, you... Oh, you... You floated. Here's a new desk, kid. You're on traffic. The hot sheet is oh posted here. Oh my the map. gosh. That's big. I'm sorry. He's an institution. Absolutely horrible. You build a freeway that goes past the The wallet by the car. Was there anything in it when you arrived? You accusing me of something, mister? Yeah, look how shifty he getting, boy. That's a doubter. Do you want the patrolman to hold you down while we turn out your pockets, Mr. Rokin? Maybe I checked inside that wallet. Not that I was going to steal anything. Maybe I took a look. But there weren't no money in there. Not even change. We found a steel pipe with blood on it near the car. You know anything about it, Mr. Wilkie? No, sir. I went straight for the law when I saw the car was full of blood. Is he looking away? I think that's the truth. That's a truther. When that's a truther. It, was it wet, bright red, or uh, darker like it is now? Darker, I'd say. Look dry already. Is that Take car not up, stinking up? We'll contact your employer if we need anything more from you. If you have to, I guess. I can't really spend no more time over this. Somebody's got to inform the wife, Phelps. You're done here. We'll head over there now. Behind Bunker Hill. A couple blocks north of Central Station. They We're gonna like make it! <laughs> Oh, they like my whoa, 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 no, 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 it's fine, I got this, I got this, I got this, it's fine, it's fine, I got this, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, let me try. I got it. Landmark discovered. Oh, sorry, you didn't need it. <laughs> okay, 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 I get it, I get it. What are you doing? What? What are you doing? <laughs> you want his truck? <laughs> it's so stubby. Out of the car, sir. This is an emergency. One goddamn ding. <laughs> you only have one DD ding. I'll be pissed. In the traffic, let's go. <laughs> oh, you're gonna hit her! You were so lucky that pole was there. You're, you you were gonna hit her. Oh, 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 oh. You killed him. You, you barely. You didn't kill a single person. You barely missed it. I didn't kill a single person. That was a little crazy. This house is cute! I want a house like this. Let's go introduce ourselves. You talk to her, Phelps. I'm no good at this shoulder to cry. You play. Stuff. I play? Alright. Serious question, who is the better driver? I don't drive. Period. Just a minute. What do you mean, just a minute? Huh? Hello? LAPD, Mrs. Black. May we come in? We have some bad news, and we'd rather discuss this in private. I'm Margaret Black. We can discuss this in the living room. Please come in. She matches her house. Yeah. Your husband drives a blue Lincoln, Mrs. Black? That's correct. The car has been found abandoned, and I'm afraid there are signs of foul play. I knew something was wrong when he didn't come home. We believe your husband may be injured. We found a pipe on the scene with blood on it. Oh, no! My poor Adrian! Does the name Instaheat mean anything to you, ma'am? Yes, it does. We've just had a new water heater installed. Whereabouts, Mrs. Black? Just outside the kitchen window, at the side of the house. I'd like you to try and stay calm and remember everything that you can about last night. My partner and I are going to take a look around. When you're ready, we're going to have some more questions for you. Is that okay? Of course, officer. Anything to help secure my husband's safety. I think she's lying. Well, let's check the place out. Come on. I'm checking everything out. Oh, they got plane models. This is so part of the evidence. Yes. You think that's Southwest Airlines? Delta? Maybe United Airlines? 
Probably Frontier. <laughs> uh, Have a good look around. There's gotta be something in here to go on. Okay. That's her. Where the hub in? Where the hub in at? That's a very used room. Clothes are not here. Okay, bit weird. Unless it's like mega laundry day, there should be uh, some clothing. No clothes here. A used ticket to Seattle and a suitcase gone missing. Someone couldn't wait to get out of this house. So that's an old ticket? Yeah. Why do they have pictures of themselves in like different rooms? They don't sleep in the same bed. Separate bedrooms, separate pictures. What gives here? So is this like his bedroom with his photo? And the other one's her bedroom so. with her photo? This must be Adrian's. That's weird. Oh, yeah, and like there's no good there's gonna be no glasses. Stenzel Washington. Stenzel. So the glasses are a match. Okay. Cavanaugh's. So who brought this home? Obviously the person's room. Maybe Adrian was a patron. R and I should have an address. Our bro's got the nicest fingertips, by the way. They're so clean. <laughs> He gets manicures. He gets them manis. Uh oh. All manny, no petty. Lie down. Make yourself comfortable. Oh, is this the professor so, from the last one? Yeah. Your friend of Courtney's. Yes, doctor. He seems very concerned about you. I have these visions. These blinding visions. I can't get them out of my head. My skull, it, it feels like it's in a vice. I want to give you something to calm your nerves. Bro, who's gonna trust someone like that? I would never. I want to take you on a journey. A journey back. I want you to remember the good things about your past. Occasions that made you laugh. Times that made you smile. He's giving like serial killer vibes. Mentally crippled soldier, soldiers find relief. In clinical treatment. There's more dad. We already know about this. We already know. What about- oh, that's it. So, is there anything else we can look at? No. Alright, let's go find the- the teeny. Wait, what? Eighty-two dollars?! Eighty-two dollars, Corey?! The ring- the earrings were like, what, thirty-something dollars? Or fifty-something? Fifty. So how much is this? Around fifteen, sixteen hundred dollars. Holy cow! They cannot rust or corrode. They are guaranteed for ten years. Maybe that'll be like a hint if it rusty or something. Kind of looks like a grill with that little vent on top. This was only recently installed. Not two days ago. Maybe it's time we took a look around outside. Anything else? We already know about that. Ooh. Why? This isn't what we're looking for. Okay. <laughs> okay. I don't get why it gives us the option to pick it up then. Also, they he make this music airplane. so scary. Anything back here? Except by the kitchen. The kitchen. I know, but look, there's a shed. And if we know anything, sheds are always evil. 
That's uh, not no, gold. No, it doesn't have a golden door. Does this have a golden door? No. What the f Birds of paradise. Those are pretty flowers. Oh, wow. What? No use leaving the thing half finished. No one finished the job? I'm doing it? Uh, it got dismantled. I take this. And I put it here. And I take this. And I put it here. I take this. And I put it here. And I take this. And I put it here. I'm a genius. So I wonder what's the missing. Missing from Mr. Black's heater is the same one that killed him. Huh. Seems like the assailant is a little closer to home. Do you think it's the wife? They always say it's the wife. They always say it's like the spouse of the person that died. I think that's it. Oh, we can uh, make a call. Didn't it say that we can make a call to someone's place? To get an address? There's a phone sure. booth across the street. Okay, I'll get that. Uh, talk, talk to her, yeah. Talk to her first. Excuse me! Yeah. Excuse, excuse me, dude. Hello. Slaughterhouse receipt. We found a receipt. She's 30. Your husband's car for a live pig. This receipt was made out to an F Morgan. A pig? Adrian runs a tool business. That would be Frank Morgan. God knows what he's up to. So her, yep, she's just dead on. Confused. Right? That's a truther? Yeah. What makes you say that about Morgan, ma'am? He's the foreman at my husband's plant. A very shady character. I've told Adrian he needs to keep his distance from the staff. They're always out drinking together. Okay. Was your husband wearing his glasses when he left here yesterday? Yes, he just bought a new pair. That's a truther. That's yeah, truther. Go on. I kept telling him to throw those old ones away. He tried to repair them with tape. It looked terrible. Did your husband tell you where he was going last night? All he said was he was going to meet Frank for a drink. That's a truther. Yep. She's a very honest lady. So nothing out of the usual then. Well. He came home early from work. He never comes home early. And he went out early, too. He normally never leaves for the bar till about seven. Okay. Your husband frequents Kavanaugh's bar? How did you know that? Adrian practically lives there after work. That's a truther. Mm -hmm. So Adrian spends a lot of time there. Up until recently, he's been away in Seattle a lot on business. I think you should come clean with us, Mrs. Black. Your husband is missing, and after our search, I'm willing to call the circumstances suspicious. Can you account for your movements last night? You're not accusing me, are you? Oh, what an awful thing to say. I was here all night, of course, waiting for Adrian to come home. So she, so she's not involved. She's a wait. She looked away. No, she did that. She did that again because she's like is there anyone upset who can that her husband might might be dead. Also, prolonged eye contact is weird. No, I, I was here alone. I cooked Adrian's dinner and waited, but he never came home. Dang. All right. Good to see you. Oh wait, there's a phone here. One Grab intuition phone. point. R and I could run down an address to Kavanaugh in no time. I'm trying. Operator, give me dispatch. Putting you through now. Phelps, one two four seven. How can I help, Detective? How can I help? I need an detective? address on a Kavanaugh's bar. Certainly, Detective. One moment. Kavanaugh's Bar, corner of Aliso and Hewitt, south side of Union Station. Thank you. 
Looks like we're hitting up a bar. Sir, get out of the car. I need please. the gun in the glove compartment to shoot you. <laughs> <laughs> wow. All right. Is it you? No, yeah. you don't. Look at that. That cherry pie was delicious. You know Frank Morgan? Sure. Frank's your regular. He's a loner in the back. Would you recommend the special on this? Ooh, this music. Frank Morgan? Who's that? Cole Phelps, <laughs> LAPD. I understand you're a friend you of Adrian Black. Yeah. Yeah, I know him. Are you aware that he's missing? No, I hadn't heard that. Tough break. We found Black's car, abandoned in a freight depot, covered in blood. You know anything about that, Morgan? Hell no. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry to hear that. I like Adrian. He, he's a good now boss. Please, don't tell me you actually believe this jerk-off, Phelps. He gives me Trump vibes. He's got that Trump face going on. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> what is that face? Okay, so we had to tie into the car, right? Uh, wasn't it the... Uh, the, the receipt. Because it says F. Morgan. Aren't we talking to an yeah. F. Morgan? Yes, this is Frank Morgan. You're a liar. You're lying, Morgan. You were there. And you're talking out your ass, detective. How about you prove I was out at that rail yard? You were there, Morgan. We found a receipt in the trunk of the car. It has your name on it. We can call the slaughter yard and nail you on it. All right, already. That fool Adrian's fallen for some dame in Seattle. He <gasps> wanted me to make it look like he'd been attacked. He's a cheater. Yeah. Where exactly is Black holed up? No idea. I think he took off for Seattle. That's another lie. Wait, no, but he's like looking at his dead on, no Trump face. How was What? He it's a doubt. I don't know. Maybe a Greyhound? You guys ought to go try the terminal on Sunset. What? So what is it, a doubt? It must have been a doubt. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> he gives such a weird face. Uh, fine. So Adrian is hurt. Up? What's with all the blood? I don't know. It was dark. He must have caught a nick on something. Yeah. That's Trump facing. He's Trump. He's Trump facing Go on, us. Morgan. You killed Black and hid the body. Where is That's it? That's not me. Hey, all I did was help the fool. You're gonna need a lot more than that to prove that I heard him. Uh, the receipt for the live. Would it be oh, the insta actually, heat? The, the insta heat. Would it be the pipe? In the bloody pipe. No. No. What? I'm so confused. You wanna restart? No, because we have to restart it all. I would rather not. Okay. This doesn't add up, Morgan. Your excuses don't help. Let's see how you enjoy the LAPD taking an interest in you. I don't think he hurt him. You want my opinion? Detail Morgan. I say he's lying, and whatever hole he's got Adrian stashed in, he's got to go back there sometime. We didn't have proof that he hurt someone, right? Mm, I guess not. Dang, why is this game so hard? I'm looking up the answer. Well, I'm pretty... Follow, look, you're about to follow him. Let me spoil it, quote-unquote. No. What's his name? Frank Morgan. He sure left his drink in a hurry. I bet he wishes he'd rehearsed that story better now. Wait, what? It was Dow. Dang it! <laughs> Imagine, yeah, Imagine you use the horn. 
Stop! You freaking idiot! You're so dumb! Obviously, that's gonna cause him to notice you! Why are you like this? Why are you like this? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Get out of my way. There we go. His apartment. Let's check the place out. Come on. Here, Mikey. You got this. You got this. Big time. You're already tailing drunks home from the bars. You having fun yet? I told you it was nonstop glamour working traffic, didn't I? Royal I'm just trying to for learn. style. Oh, come on, Phelps. Save the creepy teacher's pet stuff for Leary. Won't work. Oh, this is an apartment. I thought it was a store, and then, like, he lived above the store. All right. Let's pay our friend a visit. See if he's missed us yet. Check for the gold knobs. Not gold. Not gold. Not gold. Not. Not. Oh, there gold. it is. Gold! It was literally shining on the doorknob, too, that, like. <laughs> Who the hell is that? Would you relax? Jesus, Adrian, I told you, we're in the clear. I'll get it. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> it's over, Morgan. Mr. Black? LAPD, give yourself up now. I knew it. Phelps, go after him. Why is he running away? All he wants to do is just leave his wife and cheat. What's the crime in that? There's no point running is there Adrian. really a crime for, like, I guess, unless the pig abuse? I don't think animal abuse was a crime back so then. So what's the crime that he did? He staged a murder, that's it. It's over, it oh, Adrian. faking it's your own death there, is a crime. Adrian. Right? Just come clean with her. It's, a, it's identity Why the mellow issues. Drama? I thought it would be easier. No, it just got a whole lot harder. Adrian Black, you're under arrest for conspiracy and fraud. Fraud? We'll see what the DA has to say about wasting police resources on a wild goose chase like this. You're gonna lose your wife? Lose your job and probably end up in the big house. He didn't want his wife. I hope she was worth it, Adrian. Your wife seemed nice. She had a pretty house with sunflowers. Yeah, you spend time at a bar all the time. That turned and out she to be cooked quite you food. Case, huh? Adrian, what an idiot. You got an arrest and a clearance in your first case and in fine style, too. Well done, detective. Efficient investigation technique, good public presence. You keep that up and you... Learn from Bukowski here. You could go a long way in this department. And that's that, I guess. I wonder if the other guy gets arrested too Ooh. for helping him. Yes. Yeah. It's a, it's assisting in conspiracy. Yay! Vehicle damage. Eighteen hundred. How much is eighteen hundred in nineteen forty-seven money? Frank Morgan would have rolled over on eighteen hundred and eighty-two dollars yeah. in today's money from nineteen forty-seven. Questions correct. Ten out of twelve. That's not bad. Clues fine. Twelve out of fourteen. I knew we were missing some sort of clue. You have to like look really hard though. Maybe I'll open up the visual Hold hints on. to help. Um, inflation calculator. Inflation calc. No injuries, Corey. Are you proud of yourself? Is that twenty six thousand eight hundred fifty dollars? That's twenty six grand. Yep. Oh my gosh.